Yo guys, my name is Koineke Queen and welcome back to another Dungeon Defenders Let's Play video. So welcome back to the second episode of the Dungeon Defenders Let's Play series. So um, last time we were in the town, but now I started up a private tavern to actually check this out very quickly. So um, there are pets. I've never seen actually any of this. If you would like to browse Emporium, uh, I will do that in a different episode. So you can like buy guns or stuff, or is it upgrades? Tower skins, okay, that's pretty decent. I think these are costumes, yeah, there are costumes. Wall recruiter, grandmaster, relics. So there's so much you actually can do in this game. Uh, let's see, there's a little bit of a, uh, little bit of like a trading ground here. So, um, today we are going to do the second map on the campaign. Um, from last time we got the monk, we got the, like, wizard, and we got the squire. So let's go to the war table very quickly. R3 on the war table. Uh, so last time we did the gates of Dragonfall, and this time we are going to do Dragonfall Bazaar. And we're going to play it, um, on normal mode. So it's going to load right now. Uh, guys, I want to really thank you a lot for the 480 subs. We're almost at the 500 sub mark, which we are, uh, which if you haven't subscribed yet and haven't turned post notifications on, please do that. It would really help me uh, with my motivation for YouTube, which is still really high because of the support you guys are giving me. And it would really help me getting through this YouTube path. Now, within the walls of Dragonfall, the heroes move through the city until blocked by a vendor and his massive guard. Before they can convince a stubborn old man to move, the enemy arrives. Dragonfall Bazaar today. Okay, let's see. Waiting for all players to join. Okay. So, um, this is the great control. I think we need to... Uh, no, it's a crystal card. We need to defend that one. And I think this is where they come from. And right here. And I think on the other side as well. Let me quickly check that. Yep. So, um, let me see how we are going to do this. What is this? Great control. Okay. Um, don't know what that does, but let me quickly build some towers. Okay, we don't have anything. How are we going to do this then? Um... Yeah, just start it then. Okay, 400 build phase. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's a little bit of a tutorial. Um, I think that's almost uh, most most like things that are going to pop up when the first um, in the first maps. So uh, Kamaya Square and Apprentice defenses to protect Subcore. Uh, okay. Let me quickly build the spikes right here get yeah sure then I need to get the squire and build the flame tower so right there um, I think we are going to do another one right here was this frostbite tower okay let me quickly put one of those down as well okay um, okay pretty decent Let's start. Combat phase. Um, I'll swap back to Squire just because I think Squire is better. Okay, why are there so many guys actually going through? Okay, so um, I might have actually needed to also defend these places, but I don't know. Okay, so right now, I now know how to defend and stuff, just because last time I only knew how to jump. Okay, let's get rid of these guys, these goblins. Let me quickly get in here and try and kill at least a couple of these guys. Let me get a cannon tower behind it, two of them. Let me quickly try out and kill these guys. 
here. So the Cannonball Tower is actually doing a great job right now at a little bit defending this side. Um, so like, I think the barricade is a little bit broken already. Okay, uh, what's that? Oh no, up here, there's one guy that's free throwing everything. Okay, wave completed. Um, all heroes and objective healed. Okay, those pesky goblins have damaged your defenses. Press, okay. Let me repair all of it. Oh, nope. This one, this one, and let me to upgrade. Okay. Um, I think I need to upgrade this one right here. I need to upgrade my boy right here. So, um, as I was looking, I did not defend this side. So, what I'm going to do is probably get these little bit of the mage in and uh, get some flamethrower towers up here. Then I'm going to just quickly repair this one. But I'm going to build a little bit of a barricade right here. Like so. And then with uh, the cannons up here. Okay. Then there are also a couple of them actually coming through this side. Uh, let me see. I could maybe put like a barricade right here. And then... So if I do cannonballs here. This one needs to be the most uh, defended because I don't want any of these guys actually going through here. So um, I think we're done. But let me quickly make sure nobody's actually getting past this one. So uh, there's 29, 29, 22. But let me quickly um, upgrade this one. And this one as well. Okay, I need to be a higher level. Uh, let me upgrade these ones as well then. So uh, I think we are able to actually easily sweep this one okay let's see um right here i don't think they're actually getting through here no it's just good defense uh at the top here i think i need to remove the uh frostbite here uh let me sell that one and let me put down a cannonball tower instead of um Instead of the frostbite. Okay, so let's see. They are going, not going through there. That one is pretty decent as well. Okay, so the fire is not able to actually get through. Uh, just because they are too, they are out of range. So let me just quickly clean these guys up. I think, yeah. Uh, the other ones were great success so let me quickly pick up these gems a mini bus is approaching in the next wave hold l3 to view the lane billboards these will deta uh, detail the enemies spawning from each lane okay um yeah this one wouldn't be a problem i don't think that one is going to be a problem as well uh so let me quickly go ahead and just because the bus is coming here let me just quickly overkill on these cannons. Um, and let me put in some monk aura boost. Wait, I don't know what it does, but let me quickly put one down there. I think it's uh, boost the cannons and stuff. What do we have? Some more flame aura. Uh, sure, let me put this one down as well. I think this is a pretty decent setup. Don't know, sure, but I think it's a pretty decent setup. Now let's put some cannons here as well, just because why not. Let me quickly put some spikes down here. And then some cannons right here. Which I think, um, yeah, I think nobody's going through this one. Let me go to the combat phase, the last one. So right here, um, they are not going through these flame throwers just because that's actually doing a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, and then the two cannons right here, they will be able to 
to pick these guys up. Uh, let me see up there. Yeah, nobody's going through this. Three cannons, four, five cannons, and a flamethrower. Nobody's going through this. Uh, level up, level seven. Let's go, boys. So the mini boss is actually coming in. So I hope. Uh, yeah, he's almost dead. Let's see how quickly this is actually going. Why are the cannons not shooting? Is it not the rage? Okay, let me uh, sell this one and sell this one. Go in, boys! Yeah, easy one. Easy collapse on this one. The boss is nothing. Great defenses. Victory right here. Level 8 as well. Uh, we unlocked, I think it's a harpoon gun or something. Congratulations. You've been awarded with a chest for completing this map. Go to the chest and open it. Come on, boys. Give me a good weapon. It's going up. It's going up. Damn, a lot of coins and a medallion. Defense power 236. Defense health 64. Very nice. Um, let me quickly. Items that are picked up will go into your inventory bags. These items can be stored for later use or equipped to your heroes. To place, uh, to place equipment onto one of your heroes, you must first select your hero using the hero deck Rolodex. Uh, you must, your, your selected hero will have equipment slots where equipment can be placed. Filling gear slots will empower your hero directly. Filling relic slots will empower the selected hero defenses. Uh, equip the medallion relic in your bag to one of your relic slots to power a defense up. Press X to move the relics from the bag. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, how do I get into the bag? Equip gear. So, I don't have shards, uh, but it did have relics, as it said. Can I, uh, why can't I not go into. Okay. Let's see. Uh, equipable for. I think I can put it in somewhere like here auto equip relic sure auto equip gear very nice let's go on to the um some right here auto equip gear and auto equip relics so that's very nice to pick up what do i need to pick up so let's move on as you guys can see easy easy so let's go to the tavern very quickly so we had 49k of team score, which I think is pretty decent. And I think it was a pretty decent one, but uh, I was not really paying attention from where the uh, orcs and goblins were actually going. So um, the mid lane was a little bit open on the first round, but at least we won this one. So uh, this was the another map we did. So the next time we are going to do Greystone Plaza and then every episode we do another map. So guys, I want to thank you a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, like and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye bye.